So in this video, we're going to go over how to add an auction event. This is part one of the video. So we're going to go into our auctions tab and we're going to click add new auction event. Okay. We're just going to go over this top info right here. So typically we recommend being on the site for 10 to 14 days. So I would leave this information alone right here. And then we would click this calendar button. So if I were to start it today, actually we're gonna click this. Ah. If we were to start it today, I would recommend ending it on the 20th. You can also adjust the time here. Maybe you would like it to end a little bit earlier in the day, maybe around 10 o'clock. Your store opens at eight, 10 seems like a great time. Um, just 10 a.m. on the dot, so we're just going to click done right here. Then you select your location. I'm going to select our Perkins location. Then it always auto populates to the main account holder, so maybe that's not the person doing the auction necessarily. So I'm actually going to select Kevin, our Perkins location manager. Then we're going to select our time zone. We're in Central Standard Time, so that's what I'm going to select, but we do have the other time zones available as well. Um, and then these next box, three boxes right here, you are welcome to put the date lien letter is being sent, the date the first newspaper ad is being sent, and the date of the second newspaper ad being sent, um, but you're not required to. But if you would like to put all that information in one spot, you're more than welcome. You simply click in this white box and then can um, select the date from here. Then we're going to move to our ending offset time. This simply puts five minutes between um, the unit. If you have several units going off at once, maybe one will go off at 10, the next at 10.05, 10.15, etc. This just spaces them out and allows the bidders, if they're bidding on several, to um, not have to have so many tabs open or be worrying about so many at once. And then we move on to sales tax. If your state does not require it, you simply type zero, and then you can move on from there. However, if your state does require it, for example, 8%, you would just type 8.0, and then move on from there. Since this location's already been set up, acceptable payment method is already clicked, as well as the auction instructions are already typed, so you do not have to retype them. Um, I will say if your pickup deadline does not, um, you, you will have to make your pickup deadline match your auction instructions. It always defaults to 72 hours, so if that's not the case, simply click in here and adjust it to 48 or 24. We recommend 72 as, um, as a good time for auction pickup. And this is just how to create the first top of an auction event. In part two, we're going to go over the rest of the auction event.